Hi everybody, my name is Marie. I'm an accountant from the Bay Area, California. I'm currently working out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, you're probably wondering what it is that I have to share. Um, and I'm actually excited because it's a lot. It's a lot to share. Um, over the course of this pandemic, we realized that the majority of people in, in, in this world, whether you own a small business or not, uh, is a need of financial, the basic financial literacy that kind of goes hand in hand with just life, okay? That's something that's not being taught. Um, that's something that I feel, you know, isn't just for small businesses, okay? So um, during the course of the pandemic, um, we were all navigating through a time that was uncertain. We were unsure. Uh, there were a bunch of different programs that were then available, whether it was unemployment for those of you that did or didn't work. There was SBA, there was PPP, there was all kinds of different monies being made available to everybody. But what we found during that time was that the majority of people, especially small businesses, didn't have accurate financials, okay, which is huge, okay? I, I think a lot of people are under the assumption that, well, I don't have a small business, so I don't really have um, financials. That's not true. Everybody has financials. We all have a financial uh, picture. We just don't always know what that is. Unless you've bought a house or applied for a loan or, or anything like that lately, you probably don't know what that looks like. So. For me, that was that created a need that was just like financial literacy. How do I service the m most people in in the quickest amount of time? So um, that led me to thinking, well, why don't I just create some type of learning course or some type of something that I could roll out to my clients? Right? I, I found that my my conference calls were kind of redundant. They were kind of very similar no matter what the business was. These these were call, calls that I would have and it was just kind of repetitive. So I thought, let me create videos, right? I would roll them out to my clients. Well, being in Vegas during this time, I, if you know me, you know that I like to meet people, I like to network, I like to, you know, for people to know what I do and I like to know what you do. But uh, during that time, I met my first, um, influencers through social media so social media influencers as well as only fans okay um this was a new space uh, i don't have any clients or i didn't have any clients at the time in in those respective spaces but i i was curious okay you know i'm always one that is willing to talk um accounting to anybody anywhere so um I began to talk to these people, and when I saw what they were making, um, I knew I was in the, on the wrong side of things. Like, so I thought long and hard about like, what could I possibly share um, that could help me to make the same kind of money that these kids were making? And they, they, they were, they were clueless. They did not know that this was a lot of money, or maybe they did, but like they were just spending it. Okay, so this led me to like an aha moment. I wanted to figure out how I could get my piece of that pie, right? I, I thought long and hard about it. You might have, if you follow me on social media, you'll know that I then began to start archiving things. I kind of wanted to uh, think about what it is that I could put out content wise the way all these other people were doing it and and what that looks like for me right how how could i turn social media into into money right because that's basically what these people were doing um and i thought long and hard about it i thought well i have an amazing book of business um maybe i could do something with them i thought well you know what else maybe cooking maybe uh life advice but then i mean at the end of the day, I would eventually run out of content. But the one thing that remains through all of this 
It's the only way that I make my money, um, and it's the only way I've been making my money for, for decades. It's the one thing that makes sense in my life, and it's the one thing that I'm cocky about. So it, aha, uh -huh, I wanted to do accounting. So what does that look like for the normal person? What does that look like for somebody that has a small business? What does that look like just in general, whether you're not sure whether you have a small business, right? Because a lot of people fall under that boat, like, um, well, I mean, I think I have a small business. I, I mean, I'm, I'm doing this little stuff over here. I mean, does that count? Well, I mean, anything that generates income counts. So um, that's, that's, that's what I'm here to do. I'm opening up my, my whole entire world to educating um, your average person, okay? Small business, average person, um, we, all, we all kind of need some type of financial sense, okay? At the, at the end of the day, that is the only way that you're going to be able to create wealth. Okay, doesn't matter, uh, does not matter what it is in order for you to create generational wealth, okay? And I don't know if people realize what that really means. Generational wealth means that when you die, your money, your assets, everything that you've accumulated in your lifetime, that it is able to be passed down to others, okay? whether it's your friend, your family, your lover, your kids, whomever. It's basically the ability to pass down whatever it is you've accumulated when you die. Sounds awful when you put it that way, but that's that's really what it is. So um, that's, that's where I'm going with this. Um, Marie Vuitton is basically my Instagram name that I decided to now roll into the business side of things. Uh, for a number of different reasons. One, I wanted to keep it completely separate from my accounting firm. Um, two, I mean, I have a decent following on social media, but then I wanted to know how we can turn that into a way to make money. So um, Marie Vuitton and it's all that it embodies is basically my online presence. Um, it was a way for me to be separate of my accounting firm, separate of my professional life, separate from my clients, separate from everything. So um, as with a lot of people, uh, I know we all kind of try to keep our work separate from our personal and, you know, for obvious reasons, right? We, we don't want people in our business like that. I get it. Um, so. I spelled my name wrong, okay? I, I literally spelled my name wrong, so it's M-A-R-E-E, -E, okay? That was one way. So then Vuitton, I, I'm bougie, I like designer stuff, so um, Marie Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, it sounded cool, right? So that that's where that came from. I really just wanted to keep the two separate. Well, over time, as things grew, and as I began searching for something to share with the world, um, it just dawned on me that I'm looking for something that's staring me right in the face, and it's this. Um, I'm not in the business to do accounting for businesses, for small businesses. I'm in the business to grow wealth and make people wealthy and understand what that looks like for them and how to make the average person have an understanding of what needs to happen for them to create generational wealth, right? Um, I was a teen mom. I came from nothing. I grew my business to what it is and uh, have kind of taught this to my children who are all doing quite well, if I say so myself. And so I've also done it for my clients. I've done it for my family. And it was like, well, I'm on to something here. And now I'm finally in a position to do it for myself. So while I'm here building myself, right, and my net worth and, and all that I choose to leave on when I go, um, I thought, this isn't some secret thing, okay? This should be shared with everybody. And it's actually a shame that it's not being taught in schools. 
So um, here we go. Hold on tight and um, let's go.